I don't think it's too strong to call Nerlens Noel the biggest loser of the 2013 NBA draft. Projected to be the number one pick overall, he winds up sliding all the way to number six, and then really surprising move, uh, he winds up getting traded almost immediately uh, to the Philadelphia 76ers uh, for all-star point guard Drew Holiday, uh, along with Noel also went a, a draft pick. Now, if you look at this from Noel's perspective, not only is he not going at the top of the board where he expected, uh, but he's also forced to be on television, sitting there agonizing. And even though it was only five picks, you know, maybe or, uh, not even quite half an hour, it sure felt like an eternity, and you could just see it all over his face, how upset he was and, and how it was getting to him. I thought he handled himself all right, but it's just a tough position to be in. Draft night's supposed to be a night that you remember forever, and you, know, you get the feeling that Nerland so well is probably going to want to forget this one as quickly as possible. Uh, once you start talking about the basketball stuff going forward, it doesn't get any better for him. He winds up going to a situation in Philadelphia where uh, the, the entire fan base just dealt with a year's worth of injury updates around the center and Andrew Bynum, who had knee issues. Now he plunges straight into that midst and in the midst of his own rehabilitation. Uh, surely, Sixers fans are going to be very impatient trying to get him on the court so they can have something to deliver. And it's probably going to be a very difficult season for the Sixers now that they've traded away their best player in Drew Holiday. Uh, so you got the expectation factor. Uh, you got the, the fact that they're probably going to be losing a lot of games. Uh, you got the fact that, you know, he's not really going to be a kind of guy who's going to create his own offense. He's going to have to rely on a Michael Carter Williams to maybe do that for him, uh, Philly's other pick. It's just a tough situation all around. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out, but you don't really envy him in the short term. Uh, no doubt about it. Whenever you're going at the top of the board, there's going to be question marks basketball fit-wise, but this one seems to carry some added pressure and weight uh, just because of the Andrew Bynum factor. Uh, you know. And besides that, uh, he even seemed a little bit confused in his post-draft interview. They're asking him questions about what he looks forward to in Philadelphia, and he was talking about a great all-star point guard, Drew Holiday, apparently either not realizing or forgetting that Holiday was part of the trade package to acquire him. So he was basically banking his entire impression of the team on a guy who's no longer there. Again, you just have to kind of feel bad for him, feel sorry for him. Uh, so you know, from that standpoint, I think that the, the slip down the board and the trade does wind up making Nerlens Noel the biggest loser of the 2013 NBA draft. I don't think it's in a totally negative sense. We're not trying to put this guy down, uh, but you just have to feel sorry for him. 